the pattern day trading rule. Hopefully somebody from the government might be listening to this. Maybe I'm just living in a land of rainbows and butterflies and la la land where no, there's nobody from the government that's ever going to see this. But if there is, then I'm just gonna talk to you as some sort of government representative. And I just want you to consider something. I want you to understand how one of these rules you have in a play is not really doing what you probably think it's doing. Now, of course, you can always cherry pick data points where it, it's working, but for the majority of times, it's not working. It's hindering people. It's actually costing people a whole lot of money. And the point of the markets is to make money. And I'll be the first to admit, Mr. Government, Mrs. Government official, that I don't know the total back history of this rule. From my limited understanding, it's because it was when the internet was brand new and everybody was pouring into online trading. So the government was like, listen, everybody slow down. This new, this internet is new. Online trading is way new. Let's make sure that people aren't just going out there and totally blowing things up. And I, I get it, kind of, not really, uh, but okay, fine. But the internet is not new anymore. Online trading is definitely not new anymore. So this pattern day trading rule, which states that people with less than $25,000 can only trade and make three day trades per five day rolling period, a day trade meaning you buy a stock and sell that stock in the very same day. Well, you're not allowed to do that unless you have $25,000. And I just wanna walk you through Mr. and Mrs. Government Official, an example here, and I see these all the time on my channel, where the pattern day trading rule is literally crushing people. They're cr it's crushing people from both an opportunity cost perspective and then just a, a flat out monetary cost perspective. When again, I realize the, the rule is supposed to be, well, let's prevent people from losing money. No, in many cases, it's causing people to lose money. And I, I just wanna give you an example of this so that you can at least consider it consider saying, you know what, let's back off the regulation. Let, let, let's move away from the pattern day trading rule because yeah, it seems to be doing more harm than good given that people understand the internet now. The internet is not new and you know what? We, we can let people do with their own money as they see fit uh, because they have earned the money, they have paid taxes on that money. So you know what? They've earned it. We've gotten our tax money from it. Let's, let's just let them do what they want to do with it. I, I would just ask that you would consider doing that because as you're about to see, it, it's hurting people. So I got this comment, Mr. and Mrs. Government Official on my channel that was, you know, a, somebody made in the comment from Joseph that they bought a stock at $3.60 and it, they saw the stock actually rise to $8, but I couldn't sell it because they have the pattern day trading restriction. And they're just, they're trying to grow a small account, but they, they couldn't sell because they had already used up all their day trades. And as a reminder, a day trade being you buy a stock and sell a stock in the exact same day. But you can only do that because of this restriction three times for per every five days. So they had already used up all their day trades. They had used up their ability to do this. So now all they could do was buy, but they could not sell in the exact same day. So in this situation, again, like I said, they Joseph bought here at $3.60 and the stock went up to $8. But I wanna make this a little bit more visual. So let me show you to what is known as a technical chart and that's gonna illustrate this price movement in more of a visual format. So here we have the chart here, again, known as a technical chart. And I've tried to map things out, Mr. and Mrs. Government Official to make this as easy as you can see. But right here we have Joseph's entry point at $3.60. And this represents actually a 30 minute Time frame, meaning each one of these bars, candlesticks as they're known, but each bar represents 30 minutes worth of price action. So you can see that you know the, the purchase price was 360, and then ultimately the price went up and hit that point right there, which represents eight dollars and 75 cents. So just to do the quick math, because I don't even know what this math is, let's do this: 875 divided by three dollars and 60 cents, and then you got to subtract out one there. And then let's multiply that. Let's just be good at math times 100 to convert that to the percentage. Uh, Joseph, because of this rule, missed out on 143%. Going back to that opportunity cost. This rule cost them the opportunity at 143%. But to be fair, 
you know, that assumes that they would have sold the exact top. But this, uh, Joseph said that he saw it go up over eight. So he saw it go over eight. Let's just say that he, he would have sold it at eight then. And that way we know we're being conservative because he actually saw it when it was going up over eight. But we'll go with eight. And again, let's divide that by 360 and then subtract out the one. And then let's multiply that by 100. So 122% Mr. Mrs. Government Official that this restriction that's supposed to be protecting Joseph actually cost him. But that's just the opportunity cost because look what happened in the exact same day, which again, because he could not sell, look what happened. The price got up there and dropped and dropped and dropped and dropped and dropped. And remember that green line was where he bought and the price actually closed down there at $3. So now all of a sudden, Joseph went from having an opportunity at 120% to losing money on the trade because of this pattern day trading rule, government regulation, restriction. And again, Joseph, as he said in that comment, he's just trying to grow a small account. And you know what helps grow a small account? When you can score 120% wins. But he wasn't able to do it. He was not able to lock that in because the price ultimately pulled back on him. And not only did the price pull back and come down and got down and down, it went all the way back to his entry point and then kept dropping. And that's just a shame to see. That's depressing to see. That, that's not what the market is intended, right? The, the market is intended for people to use money and then try to grow it. And again, this is money that they have earned that they have paid taxes on. So you've gotten your cut of it. So I'd encourage you, please, will you consider at least just like making this not a, a, a rule anymore? I don't see the benefits. I don't see, well, we're, we're preventing for people from losing money, from losing, well, you just prevented this person from literally making money and then you caused him to lose money because of this regulation. To me, that just doesn't make sense. And I hopefully... Uh, you you make this as a, or you, you consider this and just reflect on the fact that, I don't know, is this rule, uh, you know, the internet's not new. Is it really being beneficial? So I hope this helps. Hopefully this is enough information for you to start to maybe formulate some sort of opinion on it. Um, and if you ask around, you know, if you put a poll on your social media page, I'm sure that many, many people will say and vote for, you know what, the pattern day trading rule, I understand you're trying to protect people from going out there and blowing their money, but it's their money. They've earned it. You've gotten your cut of it from taxes. So at that point, you know what? Let them go out there and, and trade it because here Joseph, poor Joseph, uh, had such a good opportunity and then he ultimately lo lost it because of this rule. I mean, it's just cruel irony that was intended to supposedly protect him and it ended up uh, costing him a whole lot of money both from the opportunity cost perspective and then his literal account. Actually, he's trying to grow a small account and his, his account just got even smaller, uh, which is very unfortunate. So please consider this. And uh, if you have any questions, like I said, you can reach out to me. I'd be happy to uh, assist you. Or like I said, just ask social media on your page in general. I'm sure you'll have plenty of people uh, chiming in and letting you know that uh, sharing horror stories of how, yeah, you know, if this pattern day trading rule didn't exist, I could have had some sort of positive outcome, but in many cases, it probably led to a negative outcome. So that's all I have. Hopefully you consider it. Thank you for listening. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. 
But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.